Lions, now one of the only members left of the influence. This match is I was as I was might have known that it was supposed to be Zach Alexander and Mike Montero versus MBK. Mike Montero getting suspended, so TJ Swift had to take in for See exactly what TJ Swift can do now, in the ring. Um, I had taken an interest in talking to TJ Swift backstage. He had told me I'd be under the tutelage of Zach Alexander, Jason Devine for a while. So let's see what he knows. Let's see. As soon as we get the bell, folks. Now Steve Mosher checking over Zach Alexander. And there it is. Here we and go. Now we're on the way. Great tag team action. About to take center stage. We got a great tag team division here in the RWA as it is. Yeah, I believe this match was originally supposed to be uh, MBK against members of the influence Zach Alexander and Mike Montero. But you know, as we've stated earlier. Mike Montero, not here today, was uh, absent from a mandatory uh, meeting we had earlier this morning. So uh, he's been suspended for an indefinite amount of time for right now. We're not sure how long these suspensions are going to last or, uh, or what the deal is, if there's going to be fines that go along with them. But, uh, so we're going to have the debut of, of uh, what's his the face? Mac. TJ Swift. The Matt TJ Swift, that's right. I mean, it's so catchy. It should stick in my head, but oh, yes, for some should. reason it doesn't. I don't know why. I'm well, glad Philip Adams is here to uh, actually spend time talking to these guys because I have no desire to talk to uh, any member of the influence. The influence, the pretty boys of the RWA, as I like to call themselves, trying to make a name, think they deserve everything in the RWA that they get. Titles. They think they deserve the RWA itself. But as we know, guys like T Phoenix, the Fury, they're not going to let them stand in the way of that. You know, now we're actually seeing TJ Swift in there mixing it up. Let's see what this kid can do. Delivers a shoulder himself. block and almost gets put on his ass himself. He, he, didn't, know, he didn't know what was in store with that, that clothesline. That's another one. I think it came right off the, the front of Bob Gunn's face. That was a, a front forearm. Almost caught Bob Gunn in the nose, it looked like. Took him off his feet. You could break somebody's nose with a clothesline like that. Zach Alexander in there now, and he has a rear chin lock applied to uh, Bob Gunn. Bob Gunn able to counter, and now he has a hammer lock on Zach. Very nice, uh, like a short arm Japanese arm drag. I thought he was going to hold on to it. Hey, from Zach Alexander. Nice exchange there. Zach Alexander who can't take it to you in the ring if he needs to. Can get high flying and in your face. Fans chanting they want Dirt DeVille, and in comes Dirt DeVille. The dirty little midget himself. I think Dirt was a little higher no, than that no tag. Than Zach thought. No tag. There's a TJ tag. Swift. TJ Swift now the legal man. 
Oh, come on. And Dirk DeVille says no. He's crotched himself on. He's got them both at the same time here. There's a ref. Come on, ref. I actually think and a, he and a, oddly enough, man. cover a, a, a near fall. Now Dirk DeVille in, in control of TJ Swift. Hard buckle. Zach Alexander may not feel be feeling too fantastic after that maneuver. And Dirk DeVille gives TJ Swift a big wedgie. I haven't seen that since high school. I, I wonder if TJ Swift has ever had a wedgie before. Maybe he's given them a time or two, but... I've given plenty of wedgies in my day, and that, that ranks up there with one of the best. What a vicious DDT. I tried to get along with everybody in high school. Cover, two count only. People tried to get along with me in high school, Nick Giver, if you know what I mean. Yes, yes, I know Here's what you tag. mean. Here comes Bob Gunn. Swift off the ropes and a big. Looks like a forearm. Swift may be knocked out cold. I don't care how much training he's gotten from Zach Alexander, Jason Devine. You take a shot like that, it'll knock you out. This pretty boy. Oh. You know, and after, after the wedgie given to TJ Swift, we can see he likes uh, Marvel Comics. He wears for uh, boxers, apparently. I was trying not to look, but uh, anyway. I, I couldn't help. That, you know, you can see half of his ass. TJ Swift now pulling. These kids these days are sagging their pants. Now pulling his underwear out of his ass crack. And Zach Alexander in the wrong corner right there. Tilt the world backbreaker. Double backbreaker. Safe bet that Zach Alexander's back is really broken now. TJ Swift in to break up the cover and then dances his way out. But is the damage done, guys? Dirk DeVille goes for the elbow and nobody's home. Zach Alexander raining down forearms to the back of Dirk DeVille like a man possessed right now. Just wailing away. And now he's pulling the hair. Cover. Forearm to the face. Complete show of disrespect. You're not going to keep Dirt DeVille down like that. <laughs> Chopping away at the chest. Dirt DeVille turns the tables on Zach Alexander. Off comes the glove. The gloves are off. Dirtville calls him the pimp slap. Making Zach Alexander his bitch. Better have his money. And perhaps Dirt DeVille may have just become the bottom bitch for Zach Alexander and the Bronco Buster. Makes the tag that the Matt TJ Swift back in. Double Russian leg sweep. Modified. It was it was like a combination of a straight jacket and a Russian leg sweep. Let's call it a straight jacket sweep then. Straight jacket sweep, I like that. The Mac 
hard into the abdomen of Dirt DeVille. Dirt DeVille is going to get to that corner and tag in Bob Gunn. Because he has taken a pounding here. I think the Mac may be getting a little too cocky here. Elbow from the top rope from the inside from the outside in. The influence making quick tags, keeping Dirt Irish DeVille in the into ring. Corner. Oh, but he gets able to make the Mis tag. Mistake on the part of the influence. Into the wrong corner. Yeah. Whipped him into a totally wrong corner. Now Bob Gunn in like a house of fire. Huge body slam delivered to the Mac. He almost went through the ring, guys. Another backbreaker. And BK, they like those backbreakers. Cover two, two count only, just barely, two and a half. Zach Alexander had that back worked on for most of the match. Reversal, ducks under. Ducks under again. Leapfrog. Oh! Spinning back fist by Zach Alexander may have knocked him out. I thought that was gonna be it. Maybe by instinct, Bob Gunn. I did out. not think Bob Gunn was gonna kick out there. And, and he delivers a spinning back in to Mosha. Mosha's out cold. Mosha's out. Well, obviously, we gotta get another, we gotta get another ref out there, or something, or that'd be a DQ. I have no idea. with a doomsday device. But there's no referee. Oh wait, this is the wrist. It's and over. And it. MBK's a winner. <laughs> MBK able to pull this one out after Zach Alexander hits Steve Mosha with a spinning bitch slap. Yo, know, Mosha, Mosha was out. The, my guess the influence probably would have been disqualified anyways. You cannot lay your hands on a referee. They were able to continue and MBK hits the doomsday device and MBK picks up the win anyways via pinfall. Another bad thing to add to the list of the influence today. Well, that, was a, the and that was a great match, but a bad day as you said for the influence. The downward spiral continues.